I value them. They're cherished items, and they remind me of a person I love very much. You look like you're awfully excited. <laughs> Entering its second decade on television, Antiques Roadshow is the most watched, long-running series on the PBS network. This summer, Antiques Roadshow made Omaha a stop on its annual national tour. Of course, we're all going to go get a steak. <laughs> a production of WGBH, the Boston PBS station, the roadshow schedule runs like clockwork. Arrive in town on Thursday, set up on Friday, and tape the show on Saturday. We produce two things, an event and a television show. But in order to be able to greet everybody and set up what's going on behind us, we need that kind of space. And that, for the most part, is a convention center. The Roadshow will produce enough content to create three one-hour programs from a single day's taping. To get that accomplished, they need a large number of hands on the job. All right, everybody ready? Hey. One, two, three. We love our boss. I hate a boss, but they still like me anyway. Can you believe it? Here, here, hold the camera. I don't touch dirty. <laughs> I don't do dirty. <laughs> we will travel with 55 crew members. Most of them are from Boston, from either from GBH or freelancers that we work with. I just want to double check the placement of the uh, backlights in this area, the, the stand lights. Fortunately, most of the crew that we work with has been with the Roadshow since its inception, so it's really like a big family reunion every summer that we get to see people that we don't work with, typically throughout the year. About 80% of the crew have been with the show since it first went into production. Included among those numbers are many of the Roadshow appraisers. Excuse me for one second, I just want to go look something up. When did you buy it again? 1986. And how much did you pay for it? 500. I think truthfully at the time when we were selected it was season two and there was, they were slammed. Had no idea what sort of success it was going to be. And they've shown up in cities and there was people, there were lines wrapped around buildings. Chicken feet. <laughs> this is Schmo. It, w it belonged to my great Aunt. Her name is Mavis. She came all the way from Wisconsin. You got what orange and banana, lemon, wintergreen. Oh. <laughs> what were you hoping to find out today? I'd like to know more if the, who the maker was. Was it a New York cabinet maker? Brian Witherell lives in California where he works in the antique business started by his father. His expertise is Western material. I know you were asking, is there a famous maker on it? Can we say it's Herder Brothers or Pontian Snymas? It's definitely not Herder Brothers. Um, there's a chance it's Pontian Snymas. We work with a pool of about 150 experts. They pay their own way. They pay their own expenses. We give them lunch and breakfast on Saturday, plus about 9.5 million viewers a week. It's a lot of fun. The, the crew, I mean, we couldn't do it without the crew and everything that they do. So it's just a lot of fun, and it's a long day. We're ti it's tiring, but we love what we do. The whole crew is like a big family, so I think people would be surprised. It's not just work. We really enjoy doing it. And much like the crew, the summer tour may be the only chance appraisers have to see each other. It's the only time I'll see Matt is five times a year on the road. Problem. Maybe we'll run into each other at another event. The only time I'll see Peter. No, no, no. We're on opposite ends of the world, so. Right, exactly. And opposite ends. We talk on the phone, we consult all year long, but the only time we see each other is here. Yeah. I think one of my colleagues refers to this as camp for appraisers. Right. Appraiser camp. Yeah. So we have a good time. The adage, find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life, seems to resonate among the Roadshow family.